hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll look at how we can change dns servers or dns servers ip addresses on a linux mint machine now we have two ways that we can do this we can use the graphical user interface or we can do it from the terminal let's uh, start from the graphical user interface so just go to your menu and search for network and open it now you'll, you'll see your active uh, connections here. You want to select your active connection and go to the icon for settings. And you can also view the information that's currently configured for that connection or interface, uh, the IP address, default route or gateway and DNS. Just click on this icon if you want to make changes. So they go to the settings. Again, you see the details. We want to go to IPv4. You have the option of using DHCP or manual. Now, if, if you are looking to change DNS, you'll need to come to this section for DNS. Here you can add a server. So here we have the option to set this one to automatic or manual. So if I so to add a server, just click on this. And then you can type in the server IP address and you can delete whichever one you want to delete again you can add another one you can have more than one and then just click apply and sometimes you, you might have to reboot or you can just uh, disable the network services and re-enable them you can use the terminal to do that so we made the changes here we can close this and if you open the terminal, we can, like I said, you have the option to, you can take down the networking services and then bring them back up. You can do sudo nmcli networking off. And to verify that you actually turn them off, you can try and ping, you can try and ping some IP, say ping google com send three pings and it's not ping is not working because the services are down repeat the command and turn services back on and now I, if i try the ping it should work so the second method is only a temporary uh, change you can change dns servers by editing a file let's go ahead and uh, look at the file that we can edit the name of the file is uh, resolve.conf if I do cut it see resolve so this is the file and uh, at the bottom of at the end of the file you see the name server you can add the name server here by editing the file so you can say so just use your favorite text editor you can say sudo no no let's see resolve and then just scroll down and you can add a line here say name server server 1.1 and then go ahead and save the file clear check the contents of the file and we have it and like i said this is just temporary uh, let's go ahead and uh, do NS lookup. And this should show us the server here is 1.1.1, .1 the one we just changed it to. Again, if you wanted to restart the services, you can go ahead and uh, restart the services, networking services, or you can reboot the machine. Again, this method is just a temporary. Once you do a reboot, the, the changes we make. The changes we made on that file are going to be removed so it's going to go back to the default configuration so that's all for this video i hope this information has been helpful i'll catch you in my next video thanks bye